Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Behind me I have a vintage quilt. Uh, it's a Scotty dog, a very classic pattern. I haven't found this exact pattern as I was doing my research, so I did draw out a pattern and I have a little um, example right here. I'm going to go over it, but I'll also have a pattern available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. So this quilt top is two-sided, but there is no batting and there's an opening down here in the bottom like a pillowcase. And I'm curious if the quilter wanted a very lightweight quilt, if they were going to be stuffing a like a comforter inside or if it was unfinished. I'm just not sure, but it's beautiful and I thought I'd show you how to do it. Let's get started. Here are the supplies that I need for just one of those little Scotty Dog quilt blocks. I have an 11 inch square for the background and here's my pattern that I'll be cutting with scissors. And I have a print square that's six inches that will be plenty big enough for the body of the Scotty Dog. And then I have a solid that I'll be using for the head and the legs of this applique pattern. little pattern that I made that I'm using here has the sewing lines and little dots to show where to stop sewing that gives you um, room to turn under the edges so I'll put the head with the body and I gave myself a little dot there to show when to stop sewing so I'm going to put this Scotty dog all together and then I'm going to take it to my ironing board and I'm going to press the raw edges back
After pressing all of the raw edges in on my little applique dog hair, I am going to place him in the center of my square, sort of at an angle like the original quilter did. And as I go around, I'll just turn that raw edge under. Now that I've pressed it, the fabric sort of has a memory of where to go. And I'm going to be using just a straight stitch, sort of a broken line all the way around this dog with some black embroidery floss. The pattern gives you a placement for the eye and I'm just doing three short little lines right next to each other to make the eye for my dog hair and then I'll add the nose and whiskers just with some straight stitches with this black thread. This is a super cute little quilt block and I love the vintage quilt that I was able to duplicate here. And again, the pattern is available if you're interested. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.